What are the dangers of not setting the HSTS header on every response? A web application only sets the HSTS header in responses to requests to assets. Asterisk. Any other response does not include the HSTS header. While it does seem insecure at first, any browser opening the index page will quickly follow up loading all the assets, which then results in the HSTS header being seen and respected for all future requests. Is there something I am missing? Is this strange setup fine? It would be recommendable to have the HSTS header set on every HTTPS response, but this effectively provides the same level of security, because the HSTS policy is cached for the max age seconds. It's defined that the lack of strict transport security header doesn't cause deletion of the policy, but only settings a zero value for the max age RFC 6796 6.1.1, 5.3 and 12.5. Also, settings a value too low causes it to expire too soon. These setups can protect a user that has visited the page on a trusted network or a browser seen the HSTS header on it, to be more precise, within the max age seconds. If the URLs providing the HSTS header are loaded on every visit, this wouldn't really compromise this. Despite that, I can't see any reason not to move this configuration on hostname level, and it might just be a mistake, too. However, this prevents from protecting the users before they have ever visited the site, which would be the next step and level, as the presense of strict transport security with both include sub-domains and preload on request to, is mandatory, if you wish to add the domain to an HSTS preloaded list. This is the only way to protect the whole example.com, asterisk, example.com, asterisk, asterisk, example.com etc. in advance. In addition, hstspreload.org requires that the max age must be at least 31,536,000 seconds one year.